Hello everyone, I'm Mohsina Mustafa Miti, currently working as a research assistant at BIPS. In my recent commentary titled as Forging Future Alliances, Bangladesh's Interim Government and the Next Era of Regional Cooperation, I tried to highlight the changes happening in Bangladesh's foreign relation as the Interim Government takes over after Sheikh Hasina's resignation. The country is now in a key moment where it can rethink how it works with its neighbors like India, China and global powers like the US, especially as the region faces challenges related to security, economy and climate. The interim government's first priority should be maintaining peace and stability inside the country. After that, it can focus on improving relationships with other countries in a way that benefits all the citizens, not just political elites. The government should also stress its commitment to regional cooperation, focusing on trade, security and dealing with climate issues. The previous government under Sheikh Hasina had close ties with India, but some important issues like border killings and water disputes were not resolved. The interim government needs to be careful in its dealings with India, making sure that Bangladesh's own interests are protected. On the other hand, China has been a big investor in Bangladesh, especially in infrastructure projects like bridges and power plants. China wants to continue its close relationship and the Indian government should ensure that ongoing projects move forward. The United States is an important trade partner, especially for Bangladesh's garment industry. The interim government needs to focus on maintaining this relationship while addressing concerns of the U.S. regarding labor rights and democracy. The interim government should also strengthen ties with non-traditional partners like Middle Eastern countries, which are important for the economy because of the large number of Bangladeshi workers there. Bangladesh should continue pushing for the safe return of the Rohingya refugees to Myanmar and make sure International support keeps flowing to maintain the refugee camps. The interim government also needs to secure its borders to prevent the key Myanmar conflict from spilling over into Bangladesh. In conclusion, this is a crucial time for Bangladesh. The interim government has the chance to reshape foreign relations, making them more balanced and beneficial for the country. By focusing on national interest, stability and open diplomacy, Bangladesh can position itself as a key player in regional and global affairs. To read this full commentary, please visit our website which is www.beeps.org.bd. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.